International's network supports our school leaders in terms of how to implement the model effectively um, through various ways. So some of the ways that we do that is by gathering all of our leaders together and really having a space for them to share some of the effective practices they've been working on and also thinking about how they could also learn from other leaders. Um, Another aspect of the work could be this idea of us working directly with leaders, but also as a way for them to problem solve with us. Um, we support them with some of um, thinking about um, the kinds of leadership moves they perhaps could make in terms of how to better support the structures so that they could effectively eff um, influence the instruction that's happening in the classroom. I think in terms of um, powerful learning for school leaders. One of the things that I've found uh, really effective across is our, uh, the ways in which our leaders across the country gather together and really have some um, ideas about how they've been um, struggling and in many ways solving problems of practice that they, they've encountered. We know that schools often have their own context-based um, problems of practice, but um, in, in, in these kinds of settings where we collect all of our leaders together, they really have had a chance to find those commonalities, find those common problems of practice, and discuss them in a way that feels very much um, authentic, right, in terms of how they respond to the situation, but also how they think about um, bringing it back to their own context and applying it. And so bringing the principles along to not only these new tech network conferences and leadership summits, but having them involved in the launching and the work um, alongside teachers really gave them an opportunity to get some understanding of what teachers were learning and what they would be practicing. And one of the challenges that we faced that alerted us to this need was principals didn't know how to observe what they were seeing in these project-based learning classrooms because they're very different than a traditional classroom. You might walk in and you might see students all over the place and have a hard time finding the teacher because he or she is really a god on the side and not your traditional sage on the stage doing all the talking. You're gonna hear more of the students' voices. You're gonna see them working together, sharing ideas, making revisions and things of that sort. So bringing you know, leaders on to understand what the work really looks like better their practice as well, so they knew how to effectively evaluate and give feedback and support to teachers engaging in this type of work. How does Big Picture support school leaders in creating deeper learning opportunities at their school? Um, well, I guess I look at it from a lens of defining uh, what deeper learning means to them on the ground from a local level. So one of the things that we stay true to is who we are as a design, but we also know that the ideation or iteration of the BPL design looks very different depending on the local realities. So it's a real honest, hard look and conversation with leaders around what's their reality. You know, because if they have a more traditional uh, space to navigate, they have to navigate around that, and we recognize that. And so we honor that. Um, but we also speak very true to what are your core values? What are those things that are non-negotiable for you as a leader? So when we go in, we have a very sort of a visioning uh, conversation and protocol and processes that we go through to really understand uh, the leader and their vision for the school, but also to honor and name the realities that they face. With that being said, we stay true and hard fast to the core values. And how do they stay true to their core values in that realities that they face? Mm -hmm. And then really we start articulating um, what their core values looks like in their school and what do they want it to look like. So when it comes to deeper learning and what does it mean to them to really have a clear picture of what that looks like. And then really it's developing the framework and structures to see that come to fruition with their staff. 